try to think about it from the perspective of the individual fish. So if you're a fish in this school, you're swimming along, what are you sensing? But from the perspective of the individual fish, what are the, the behaviors or control laws that you're executing to be part of that school? So we have people who have developed mathematical models of this, and once we develop models, then we can implement those on artificial systems. So each agent is autonomous. It is sensing its environment. It has goals. It's making decisions. If you think in terms of uh, social insects, such as bees or ants, uh, they effectively operate with no centralized control. The agents, uh, it's kind of the same thing. They are they're able to talk to each other, or they're able to see each other, or just look at their local surroundings and react to that. Uh, the point of these guys is that none of them really have a global reference of what everyone else is doing. That's not how, uh, that's not going to be scalable when we get into the field. It's just going to make things too slow. So what these guys are, they are lighter than air aircraft, and we use them for autonomous systems research, multi-agent research, and specifically emergence within swarms. So the neat thing here is we can attach different sensors, we can attach different payloads to what we call the gondolas, and we can put them all up in the air at the same time and see uh, what type of behaviors we get back. You can just test out um, control algorithms on them without having to worry about like flight dynamics or the environment around them or collisions because if they collide they're not gonna like break each other or anything. So that's uh, really useful in testing out a lot of theory. Leverage what we learn from nature and develop these bottom-up approaches to uh, swarming so that we can use large numbers of uh, fairly inexpensive platforms uh, working together to, to do useful things for the Navy. That, I think, is the more interesting part of research, and you get to actually work with your hands and build something and see an actual like, result versus seeing it in a simulation. All of the factors point you know, positive in the direction of developing uh, these platforms and adding new capabilities to them. This allows us to identify opportunities for the Navy to incorporate uh, new sensing modalities, new types of onboard information processing that can be used to elevate unmanned systems to make them more autonomous.